Hey guys, welcome back to Sustainable Living. Today I'm gonna to make a quick video showing you how to test your compressed earth block in this simple method. What I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna take a five gallon bucket and fill it full of water. And then I'm gonna take one of these blocks right here and I'm gonna soak it in that bucket. And what's gonna happen is if you have 10% Portland in your block, then technically your block should not deteriorate. It should hold together. And if you don't put Portland in your block, I'm gonna show you what happens when you get it saturated with water. It should deteriorate. So what I have is I have, this block right here is made with no Portland, but this block right here is made with Portland. And I'm gonna show you in a 24 hour, 48 hour test, what will happen with these blocks. This was a simple test when we were building our house. The first few batches of block that we made, we would soak them in water to see if the material would hold up. What you'll also see from this test is that as the block deteriorates, the one that has no Portland, it's gonna show you that you're really gonna to want to put Portland in all of your blocks. I know some of these codes from like New Mexico only have so many courses that require 10% Portland, but you, by seeing this test, you're gonna, want to put Portland in all of your block. You'll see from some of the photos in our house build, we had a lot of rainstorms that just saturated our house. It was like a swimming pool in our house. And it really didn't hurt the building of our house or the block. It actually provided a great moisture content in our blocks to give them a slower cure. It's been only a few minutes with these blocks in this, uh, these buckets of water. And I can stick my hand down in there and I can touch that block and it's just starting to just deteriorate just in a matter of a few minutes. Now over here, this block, and it is stiff and hard as a rock still, just in a matter of a few minutes. This block right here, the one with no Portland, is already falling apart. All right, guys, I went ahead and added a third bucket of water. What I did is I put a block that has basically 5% or less uh, Portland in it. We have the 10% that's going on, and then we have the one that has no Portland in it. And it's only been an hour, guys, a little over an hour. And look at this thing. The one with no Portland in it has completely deteriorated. So this is not even going to go 24 or 48 hours. I'm going to dump it out here in a minute, and I'm going to show you what this turned out to be. And now this one's 5%, and it is also kind of deteriorating a little bit also. But I will let that one set for 24 or 48 hours, and then we will compare it to the 10%. And you guys are going to be amazed, and hopefully you will. this will be a, a game changer for you if you we're deciding to put Portland in your block all the way up your wall. I highly recommend that you put 10% Portland in your block all the way up the wall, and you're gonna see the difference here. But let's dump this one out, and basically what you've made is a mud clod, a just a really tight, compact mud clod, and when you put water on it, it rehydrates and it falls apart. When you got 5% or a little bit less than 5%, it doesn't quite hold together as, as, as good, and uh, I'll show you that one, but let's take care of this one right now. All right, guys, this is it. Look at that. After dumping all the water off, the uh, mixture has completely just eroded away and deteriorated away because it had no Portland to hold the block together. That is 0%, no Portland, guys. 
That's the danger if you decide to build block like this. I highly, strongly recommend that you put Portland in your block. That is all that is left, guys, of the block with no Portland. One small corner. So guys, give me a comment below on what you think of that simple test. An hour, an hour, a little over an hour, and those blocks were decayed. They were dissolved. Give me a comment below and tell me what you think about that and uh, this concept of putting Portland in your block. I highly recommend it, but I'd like to get a comment from you guys. So it's been a little over 24 hours, and I wanna show you what the 10% uh, the Portland block and the 5% less than 5% uh, block and how well they've held up with 24 hours of soaking. I'm not going to go to 48. I don't think you're going to see much difference. And uh, so we're just going to pull these blocks out and show you what we've got. Okay. All right. So this is the block that has 5% or less in it. So you can see where the end, the compressed end is a little bit tighter. It's held together but the weaker end of the block is starting to fall apart. You can see right here, it's kind of deteriorating a little bit. If you haven't seen my video about talking about blocks and talking about a weaker side of the block, I'll put a link up at the top of the screen so you can go and check that video out. So this is uh, one of the reasons why you want to be more liberal with your Portland and do 10% Portland. Okay. Let's go over here and let's check out the 10% Portland block. Look at that block. Nothing has really come off of it. There's a little bit of, I mean, I can push on, there's a little bit of a dust uh, film, but it's just a, it's a hard block. It's just super sturdy still. So let's pull these things out and we'll show you what we've got. You can see the block has deteriorated a little bit in there. See the mud down there? That weak side of the block caved in with the water. But this top side is the, that's where the uh, piston pushes against the dirt and it's a much tighter, um, it's a much tighter compression. So that's why that part is holding together. So a lot of guys on the internet will say 5%. You can see that the proof is pretty much right here. You really want to stick with 10% Portland in your mix. Here's a better angle on this. You can see where it's just falling apart. So these were only about two months old. Look at this. So you don't want to shortchange yourself, guys. Portland is a cheap insurance. Look at all the block that's left in there. All right, this block has been setting out in the weather for about four years, guys. This was a leftover block from the build of my house, and this had 10% Portland. So it's been out in the weather for four years, and we've soaked it in the bucket, guys. So let's check it out. Just a little bit of residue at the bottom. Just a little bit. So just a little bit of dirt that fell off the block from these corners. And this block would pretty much stay the same way if we soaked it for another 24 hours. There wouldn't be that much more change. Side by side comparison. So there you guys have it. So when you're first starting making your block, and you're getting into the routine of making your block and you're not for sure how the block's going to turn out, you're going to want to do a couple tests like this for your first three or four or five batches of block. Soak them in a bucket of water. Take one block from each uh, batch, soak it in a bucket, see what it does. If it holds, it holds up like that other 10%, that's a good indicator that your block is going to hold up, guys. So this was just a quick test that's been on my mind. I wanted to show you guys. I've seen information on the internet, guys saying 5%. I've always been told 10%, but I've been reading other spots saying 5%. But you, get, you can see with the test that we did, guys, to make sure you put 10%. It's cheap insurance. You put so much work and effort into your building, 
and uh, Portland cement if you can access it depending where you're at in the country or the world um, put it in guys and mix it into your mixture and you should be good to go it really stabilizes that block so thanks for watching guys and if you found this video to be helpful remember to smash that thumbs up button it really helps us sharing our information uh, in YouTube it tells the algorithm to get our information out uh, this is some really critical information about alternative building with the prices of lumber going up I really think that compressed earth block is going to be a viable source for uh, for a building material obviously we built a home and uh, so we're gonna have more videos to come guys and uh, thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel please consider subscribing we'd love to have you guys follow us thanks guys and take care I wanna be